This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and today I'm gonna do a bit of this uh, using these fantastic decals to apply to this great figure. Earthrise mold, very, very good looking figure. Uh, cartoon accurate, has all the accessory, uh, shoulder cannon gun and everything. So he looks really good, a bit fragile here. Uh, some people had to find the hard way, but uh, it's, uh, it's a very, okay mold and i'm just noticing there's a bit of dust on it so i'm due for a major dusting uh, but uh, yeah i want to apply the decals mainly because i'm almost done with most of the season one autobots and um, you know i just want to i have uh, maybe jazz left and uh, jetfire uh, but i'm not sure if i'm going to do jetfire or skyfire just because you know we it's to make him more toy accurate and i prefer the cartoon accuracy so we'll see maybe i'll get it maybe i won't Oh yeah, Blue Streak voiced by uh, Casey Kasem, a you know great artist. Um, so check out my spotlight if you want. Uh, but before I go on with the review, make sure you uh, check out the, the whole voice actor playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also the interview playlist. Uh, you might uh, you know have some fun watching that. And at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. Fantastic online store. Uh, that uh, That's where I get most of my figures. And now let's roll the intro. Taking a look at Blue Streak before I apply the decal. Love the color scheme on this one, you know, the red, gray, and black. Uh, looks really good, the clear windows for legs. Kind of looks a little weird, but I don't know, it it, it works. Uh, but I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks does for, uh, for that. Taking a closer look, the uh, face sculpt is really good. Um, doesn't seem to have blue eyes though, so maybe that's just my color blindness, but it looks uh, different. Love the shoulder cannon, wish they came with Prowl too. Um, the siege mold, instead of maybe the uh, the gyros, but you know, it kind of fit the character. Uh, love the gun, uh, probably no decals for that as usual, and yeah. Uh, as I said, be careful with that piece, it, you know. It uh, broke off on a couple people, so that's, that's too bad. Uh, yeah, the feet, yeah, they, they are a little weird, but yeah, it, it fits. It looks really good though, and uh, can't wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. Uh, the decals, uh, smaller sets, not that many. You have some license plate, you have uh, Fair Lady Z. That's completely a joke I'm missing. Uh, streak, Streaker, Fair Lady Z. Fair, maybe I'm reading this wrong, hold on. In the comments, let me know if I'm missing something. Is it the reference to Casey Kasem? I, I don't know. Uh, the windows uh, looks really good. Uh, one tone, and you have a steering wheel. That's that's pretty cool. But what? Well, two tones. You know, there's no uh, cell shading in it. Uh, but look at the foil backing. There's plenty of uh, decal. Looks to be two option for the uh, the shoulder. So I'm guessing there's a silver streak version uh, and, but everything else looks to be unique yeah except maybe the shoulder so i'll see which one i prefer uh it says turbo here so yeah and the extra autobot logo so good looking set i really like it so i uh, can't wait to apply it final look at blue streak before he goes to the paint shop Okay, back from the paint shop, uh, taking a look at what's left, there's the extra Autobot logo. And uh, there's a waist decal here. I went with, well, you'll see, uh, something to make it more toy accurate. But uh, this, the blue decals, are there to make him actually more to toy accurate. They, uh, he had similar decals uh, on the G1 toy. Uh, I chose to forego that. And uh, the other two are, well, I didn't go with the uh, fair ladies uh, I don't know 
So, he looks really good now. Like, honestly, uh, he it's really good enhancements. Let's start with uh, the horns. And uh, you have some red decals for the horns. Uh, you have, uh, well, that's already uh, always been there. There's the streak decal with uh, red headlights. Uh, looks good. The shoulder, black, uh, I think looks uh, really good. Uh, the enhancement of turbo on the wing. And then the blue decal on the forearms. You have the waist decal I was talking about. I went with uh, this, which is uh, similar to what you had on the toy. And then you have the waist decal in three piece plus legs, the golden, uh, silver, red. Looks really good. Uh, windows, but that's going to shine a lot more in a minute. You have uh, foot, but this is all part of the, uh, the decals for the back end. So we'll take a look at that then. On the, uh, I don't know, thigh, you have this little announcement here. And they even did a couple enhancement on the inside. Uh, you have uh, these things here, which I'm not too sure what they are, but uh, looks uh, looks good. It break, breaks the clear plastic. So there you go. So everything else we're gonna take a look afterwards on the car. But here you go, blue streak after the paint job. Sure can't manifold mouth, and neither can the rest of you. Let's cook a few crankcases. Okay, so uh, left out the accessories, uh, but I want to take a look at the car before he goes to the paint shop, and he looks really good. I mean, this is a very nice color scheme. Um, not something you'd see today. I think this is very 80s typical, you know, the black everything, and then the silver on, uh, on the side. Um, I don't know if this should have been black too, I have to take a look, but it might have, you know, made a little more sense to continue it, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Uh, there, you know, room for a license plate, maybe some tail light highlight, so we'll see. I like the clear headlight, looks really good. Autobot logo, and um, hopefully now, well, not hopefully, I, I, this is going to be covered, and you won't see this uh, big uh, robot junk, so. But still, very nice uh, looking car. So final look at Blue Streak before he goes to the paint shop. And while they work, I'll take care of our three Raiders. And now to take a look at the car mode. It looks fantastic, honestly. One thing I do want to point out is, I forgot to mention, there's that decal for the arm. And um, this one, which is wooden stick, I have no idea. I'm, I thought I dusted it pretty good. This one stuck pretty good. This one just wouldn't stay. So I don't know. Something weird maybe with the decal. It doesn't make sense. But anyway, uh, nothing else under. Uh, you have the window with the uh, steering wheel. I think that's pretty neat. It's a nice touch. Uh, three part, well, one, two, three part uh, window decal. And then you have another one at the back. And uh, if you push it hard enough, well, not that you need to push really hard, but uh, it uh, it absorbs the uh, ribbing of the window uh, underneath. So that's really well done. And then you have streak license plate, uh, the new uh, tail end, and uh, a new bit of uh, tail light. So that looks really good. Uh, window, the windows are really, really good. I like when they do uh, dual tone like that i prefer the uh, the cell shading but this is good and oh you have the little uh, i don't know if that's the end for nissan or I'm not a car guy i think it's nissan but i don't know and what else uh headlight no nothing you know i'm glad that they didn't do anything for the actual headlight here because i like the clear uh, version and uh, there was nothing for the rims, uh, but they're already painted. Too bad they're both on mushroom. Actually, this looks better to have, you know, two of them on the same peg instead of one full, one empty, uh, like most legacy figures. So. so there you go. Final look at Blue Streak after the paint shop. I, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.